Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video of the Arsenal. Today we're going to talk about a tank that I think is probably, probably bad for the game. Probably not, but you know, you never know. This tank's called the Griffin. And my god, this thing eats other tanks alive. This thing will devour the hit points of your enemies. This thing will turn your enemies to soup. Okay, okay, okay. This, the, 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 the base DPM is 1800. This fires seven, what, 1700 rounds a minute. That's, that's insane for 50 millimeter. I've got a clip here. I've got I've actually got two clips. This first clip is when I've just still got the tank. And I'm testing it out. Just you know, have a look at it. I've already tested it out. And this is it with no add-ons. Okay? There's no skills on the crew. There's no equipment. Nothing. Okay? It is upgraded, but there's nothing else on the tank. Just watch this. First tier eight. Melting alive from this 50 millimeter. This is insane. I just was playing this thing and I was thinking to myself, why develop a machine that can do this? It destroys other teammates. They don't stand a chance. They do not stand a chance. The mobility of this thing is a bit. Yeah, I mean, it. It's, it's maneuverable, but not, you know, not super duper duper maneuverable. It can, it can do about 60. And 70 on. with the other 1500 horsepower engine. This is a 1500 horsepower engine. That's, like, you know, that's enough to move a mouse. <laughs> and then the timer goes off and I'll stop recording. So. Should we check the other one? I think we should. So let's have a look. Uh, so we're going to check the other one. And here's the other one. And we are. So there is. This is with all the skill, all the crew skills, and all the equipment. And this thing is ferocious. Look at this. The time between the shells is half a second. And there's three shells in each interclip. Okay, this thing basically doesn't reload. It just goes. It's a it's it's a, it's a, it's a mini gun. Okay, this is a mini gun on a tank. A 50mm mini gun. And it is destroyed. You will clip the entire team. If you get behind the entire team, you will clip them. You will go, ba -ba -ba -bum, ba -ba -ba -bum, ba -ba -ba -bum, ba -ba -ba -bum. and within a minute, you would have been able to kill probably four tanks. And look at this. Just, just why? What was going through the head? It was bad enough with the object 490. Okay, that was bad. That was bad. I have not checked that tank yet. I will check it. But then they come up with this. Are they trying to, you know, kind of like say, oh yeah, we made one other power tank, let's give you another one. A one with a 15mm auto gun that will devour a tier 8 quicker than... than anything, really. So, there's that. Uh, I, I don't know. Th this is worse than Wargaming. Quite literally worse than wargaming. You thought that the object 209 was bad. You thought that the object 252U was bad. You thought that the 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 the, 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 the chieftain was bad. This thing is ridiculous. It needs to be nerfed. That interclip reload needs to be at least 0 0.9 seconds. Then it'll be good. 
0.52 seconds, half a second into clip, and it doesn't reload. I'm going to give this tank a new nickname. It's not going to be called the Griffin anymore. It's going to be called the Minigun. Probably a stupid name, but my god, this thing destroys anything. It, 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 it eats everything. It really does. I mean, it, it, I, I can't even describe of how how ridiculously overpowered this thing is. So, I'm going to upload this to YouTube, let you guys have a look at it. Uh, the public test for the Armour Warfare is open. I will put a link into the description, hopefully. If I can find it again. Sorry for the hiccup. And I just wanted to get this out because this thing is ridiculous. And they've done it again. They've brought out another tech tree tank. It's a tech tree tank as well. So you're going to see loads of these, unlike the 490 that I sadly wasn't able to get my hands on because I didn't want to go through the paved grind of the battle pass. So I thought, yep, nope, I'm just going to test it out. So I test it out and then they come up with this. So yeah, uh, if you like this video give it a thumbs up, if you didn't like this video give it a thumbs down, put in the comment section what you think about this tank and what you think needs to be changed. I think this tank needs to have a not a heavy nerf but a light nerf, just you know just tweak it. This is the public test. So they may change uh, the, the, the way it performs so they may you know they may change the interclip reload my god please don't buff the interclip reload or otherwise this thing is just going to eat tier 10s for breakfast this thing it, it, it just destroys tier 8 this is a tier 8 what's the tier 10 going to be like uh, it could be like this could be like the M168 minigun on steroids. This is a 50 millimeter. Just why? I mean, did this thing even exist? I think it did because it's in the game, but if it did, then my god, this thing is sky. I don't even know. I mean, it doesn't even reload. That's the thing that confuses me. It's like, it's like, I, I, I don't even, I, I don't even know. Do I care? My God, yes, I do because this thing—it's it. You, you know the Waffle Trigger One Hundred from Water Tanks uh, console. It's not bad for the game because once you've unloaded your clip, you're dead. It takes a minute to reload. This thing is ten times worse. Okay, take the Waffle Trigger One Hundred, give it a fifty millimeter gun, and then do this. This is what that is. It's a Waffle Trigger 150mm gun. But it doesn't reload. And it's quick. I mean, this thing is quick. And also, it's got fantastic view range and absolutely amazing camera rating. Basically, means. If you're a bit getting peppered by damage of 64 to 80, and it's just going do 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 and you can't spot it, you know exactly what that is, and it's a bloody griffin, and you will be dead like that. You you you'll be dead. There, there, there's there's no saying of it. If they change the clips so it goes do 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 do, and then it has reload, that'll be fine. But if they keep it as this. They're going to see a lot of complaints from players. A lot of complaints because it's a tech tree tank. It would have been alright if you made it premium. But no, you had to put it in the tech tree, didn't you? It's bad for the game. It is bad for the game. You're going to see so many of these. And people... I, 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 it, it, people are going to be running around in this. They're, it, they're going to be running around in this. They're going to be clipping other players. They're going to be sitting there. Just going. It's 2,400 hit points. 
for tier eight. It's a, it, it, it's it's a armored fighting vehicle because it's, it's the circle. It's not the diamond. The diamond, the 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 diamond that's not filled in like the uh, MBD uh, uh, diamond. The, that, that's light tank. But the circle that's not filled in, that's armored fighting vehicle. Means that this thing can spot. It can scout. It can hide. It can kill. My God! Thank God it doesn't get an ATGM. Or whatever it's, this thing will have to be removed ASAP. But I, other warfare developers or um, uh, Obsidian Games or, or I, I forgot the name of the company. If you're watching this, please, 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 please look over this video. Watch how this thing devours Tier Eight for dinner and please change it just nerf something on it nerf its few range nerf its camera range nerf its gun just nerf something on it make it balanced because right now it is not balanced if you get to the side of a tier 8 or my god a tier 7 or poor tier 6s they're dead they they they're finished they are they 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 they're finished they're done for i mean t90 okay Tier 8 MBT has about the same hit points as the Griffin. It has slightly more hit points than the Griffin. How is that fair? How is that fair? I don't see how that's fair. Okay? Just... Why? Answer me why you would do this to your own game. I know it's fun. I know it's exciting. I know that we have artillery that is absolutely amazing. I love the artillery. That's my favourite class in this game, and it would really, it would really bother me if you changed artillery. Please don't change artillery. But this has to stop. Stop making horrifically overpowered tanks that are. What, they 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 haven't really damaged the game yet, but. I don't know, it, it, it seems to have a slight negative impact on the game. And that negativity is going to build and build and build as more and more people unlock this tank and they're going to take into battle. They're going to be. Can you imagine a platoon of these? A platoon, okay? Artillery can't be allowed in PvP. Okay, that's fine because artillery, 10 second reload, no, that's fine. They're a bit overpowered. Okay, that's fine. What the hell is this? This should be banned from PvP. If you don't nerf it, ban it from PvP. Same, I mean, the object 490, yes, extremely overpowered armor. A very good gun. I've nicknamed it the Death Star because it does huge amounts of damage. It does so much damage. Damage a shot. I mean, it's 85% of the time I've been hit for over a thousand damage a shot. That's insane. And then you get this thing, and it's it's a mini gun. It's the opposite to the 490, but it can do the same thing. It can do, actually, it can do more damage in the same time that the 490 takes to reload. So in fact this thing is even more overpowered in the damage compartment. But it doesn't have the same armor as 490. But the 490 is slower than this thing, I think. I don't know. I, I, I think that this thing is just unbalanced. It, it, it really is. Who okay, 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 okay. Obsidian Whoever your tank designer is can you please talk to them, have a chat with them, just sit down and have a chat, and discuss about the tank making, because this has to stop. It really does have to stop. I thought the 490 would be the end of it. I thought, okay, we got an overpowered tank, that's fine, they're probably not going to make another one, and then the next public test, I come on and I think to myself, what the hell is this? It, I, I, I can't put it into words. It's, it's God. I mean, at the front of MBT's right, like the the Murfica, 
it says red, but you can get trap pens. Okay, trap pens. Yes, I said trap pens. You can. I I I can't describe it. It is so. Oh God! It's just the shells are so powerful. They seem to melt through the armor. It just. Oh, please change it. Just please, 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 please change it. Or make it a premium. Make it a premium. That will be the simplest thing to do. Make it a premium. And if you don't even make it a premium, then y over time you're going to stop getting complaints of people saying this thing is overpowered. And then it's going to. You know, it's it's going to start really affecting your game. It really is. I mean, there's another YouTuber. I can't remember his name. But he also refused the 490. He said the exact same thing as me. It'll be bad for the game. Now, there hasn't been any negative feedback that I've seen. That, you know, that, that I've seen that hasn't really struck yet. But you can definitely feel the tension, and it's definitely rising with the full night being in the game. But now this is in the game, I feel like me and this other YouTuber, we're going to go right into town with making a few videos about these new tanks that are... I, I don't know. He's probably making a video right now about this tank. He probably is. Um, and I'll put a link into the description to his YouTube channel. Um, and I, I hope that you guys go and subscribe to him because he's a really good YouTuber. Um, and uh, yeah, just, just, yeah, just uh, please change it. That's all. So thank you guys for watching the video. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. Put in the comment section what you think about this tank. Um, and uh, what time, what would you want me to do next? I mean, just just pick a thing what you want me to do next, then I'll do it. Uh, basically, yeah. Bye.